I've made a couple of modifications to the uh, engine monitor band at the bottom of the uh, primary flight display. You'll see in the lower left corner and the lower right corner uh, some red and green lights. The uh, two in the lower left corner currently say hazard and they are for the float switches in the tops of the two fuel header tanks. And those header tanks each hold a gallon of fuel and as soon as the main tanks go empty and there's only a gallon left those lights turn red and say hazard instead of being green and saying full. So that's kind of a very last ditch You've only got a few minutes of engine runtime left warning. So, uh, <laughs> one more safety feature that I've added. In the lower right corner is something similar. In this case, I've got two green lights. Let's see if I can actuate those and give you an indication. The uh, upper right one there uh, says lock and it's labeled canopy and what I've done is put a micro switch on the canopy latch mechanism so that if the latch even though it be closed even if it's not if it's not locked then it says it's open and it turns red if I actually lock the canopy not just latch it but lock it then it turns to lock and the canopy light is green. Same thing applies to the landing brake. If the landing brake is down at least the least little bit, it turns red and says down until I raise it back up again. And then it turns green. So these were sensors available on the EMS 220, um, part of the Dynon system. And uh, I thought, well, I'll put them to good use. Uh, the switches were already there. They were part of uh, uh, the original circuitry for in the, in the plans of the airplane. But uh, I decided that rather than have them all hooked in series, I think there were three things that uh, basically tripped a light or sounded a buzzer or both, but you had to figure out what it was. Uh, so these describe exactly what's going on, and uh, uh, I'm very happy with it.